Good afternoon, YouTube's man, always George Page. Coming to you live, live on YouTube. Well, folks, I want to get a shout out to a man who I consider my brother. He is the guy who has inspired me to become who I am now, and, you know, the emperor. And um, he's a great guy. I, we met uh, some time ago, and he really got me into um, MMA and a lot of stuff, aspects of sports. And I admire this person. This is more Mr. Coach Sheridan Harrison, a.k.a., you know, uh, Coach, a.k.a. CS Combat Sports, a.k.a. Uh, Coach Adamas. And he's a knowledgeable man. I mean, I learned some stuff. Sometimes we may, like anything, like um, brothers, we might have um, different opinions, but you know what? We still support each other. So anyway, a while back, um, my, my brother, the coach, he posted uh, one of his live streams. We talked about a situation that happened, um, I think, over the weekend, some time ago. And this is something that people need to hear. And if you hadn't heard about it, you should hear it now. A um, while back, um, Chell P. Sonnen, as you know, he is better known as the American gangster, former UFC and Bellator uh, fighter, was arrested for um, domestic violence or you know assault. You know, I think with multiple people. And this is like, what is going on here? I mean, you know, and this happened in Vegas, you know, and the story say he was like trying to defend the honor of a woman. Well, <laughs> this is not the Middle Ages, sir. You're not a knight on a on a horse defending uh, some maiden. You know, you're just a former MMA fighter and some you know, so called businessman. And Chell was you know was arrested in Vegas. And the thing is, what's going on? You know, why would you do something like this? I mean, you know, and Chell is you know he's one of uh, like I said a tough fighter. He's been around for the, for a long time. He was for a good while. He was a UFC fighter, and then he spent some um, years in Bellator, and also now he does um, stuff on, um, you know, he does a live, live podcast, he does stuff on social media, he has a um, little thing, Bad Guy Inc., where he talks and commentates about things going on in sports, Reflectively, mostly in MMA, being that that's where his career started out with, and then there was a while back, he made some comments about John Jones, you know, and he has defended John Jones before, but you know, recently John was busted for domestic violence. And it's funny how he was talking about this guy, and then he also has a record for domestic violence, and it just got busted. And you know, him and John Joe fought some years ago back in UFC, earning their careers, especially when John was coming up. You know, he was still young, John Bones Jones, and John really put a whooping on Chael Sonnen. Uh, he really put it on Chael. He just got beat down. And it's f funny. This guy here has a family, a beautiful wife and children, and he goes out. He he gets mad at his side chick is hanging out with other people, especially other men. Now, it's one thing. If his wife was doing it, he oh, he'd be pissed off as to hell. But you know what? You know, you shouldn't be mad if you're if the chick that you're messing with on the side is having a relationship with somebody else. She's not your woman. Your wife's your woman. You know, a side chick belongs to anybody who has the time to spend with them. And that's the thing with side chicks. You got to remember, they're not your women. You know, they're women. You know, it's funny how some guys... When in a relationship, especially if they're married or have a serious girlfriend, you know, they have women on the side. You know, and this, and like I say, I know the population of women, I know the men, but still, you should be happy with what you got. And these women who are on the side, it's not like it used to be back in the day. Some women were holding their whole life for one man. But now these women now say, realizing, I need somebody who I will want to be with me. Now, there was a situation almost similar to this, you know, in a way. It was a woman provided by the name of Paul uh, Maganali. If I got his name wrong, no, who forget it's Kay Paulie. And Paulie is a former boxer, commentator, whatever. And also he has done um some in, some other fighting outside of, of that. He had an ex-girlfriend. And Paulie got a little jealous about she was hanging around with another boxer by the name of Adrian Broner. If you know Adrian Broner, he's a you know, he's been around. Adrian's a character. <laughs> Remember he got in the fight when he thought he won. And they were fighting some time ago, and Adrian mentioned that, you know, he was messing with Paulie's ex-girlfriend. And he gets mad about that. And he already had a wife, I think, and, uh, and uh, another girlfriend. Why are you getting mad when a man being with your ex? He's your ex. I know you had a, a relationship, but that relationship is long gone and over. You have moved on. So why are you getting mad about that? That's the thing about um, when men get mad when another man's with a woman they used to be, he shouldn't have no business getting mad. Understand this. Women have their, you know, men, women have their pick of what a man they want. Because the fact is, even though the population of men is small compared to women, women have their choice. Even if a woman has a man and she finds a man that's attractive, she will, you know, be drawn to him. And if you're a guy who, you know, you have a mistress, you can't expect her to sit around with you 24 hours, 24 seven. 
She has a life. And if she finds a man that she's attracted to, if she has a common interest with, then she's going to be with them. So why get mad about that? Why not move on? You know, you know, there's other women out there. You know, if you have to pay for them, hey, pay for it. You know, and this is still something like I said, he, he's a family man. He has children, he has a wife. And the thing is between, you know, if you're not even with your, you know, your wife should be the most important person in your, in your life. She's the, she's the mother of your children. She takes care of your home. But the fact is, you did this by disrespecting her. And she probably knew about the other woman. You know, most time women, especially women of successful, powerful men, they know that their husbands have somebody on the side. And, you know, just somebody for some things that she don't want to do. I remember that movie, um, and like this with um, Robin Nero and Chris and and, uh, and Billy Crystal, the part in the scene where um, Billy Crystal tells Robin Nero, you know, he's talking about his wife, saying, you know, he has mistress, say, well, why don't you do this with your wife? Say, no, because some things my wife kissed my children. There's some things I wouldn't want to do with her. But those are things that you got up with them when you married her, you know. But Chell Sonny, I think he's he comes to the American gangster. He's American sin. He getting he gets mad that the fact his side chick is hanging out with other people, especially other men. You shouldn't be mad about that. If she's not available, there's always other women. You know, if you if you hung on this particular women, then leave your wife, leave your family. You know what? You don't have to be with your wife. Be a father to your children, but you don't have to be with your wife. And that's the same goal with her. He don't have to be married to you. You know, you can give you you can take care of your children, pay for for um um alimony, and support. And that's it. You can go on with your life. But you gotta be careful. Sometimes these guys, you know, it's funny how some of these guys who have this double life, having a wife on the side and a girlfriend, have a wife and a girlfriend on the side, and it just, it's not enough for them. You know, some people like me, I'd be happy to have one woman. That's enough. I don't, I wouldn't, the headache of having two women is too much. I don't know how these fools do it. But like I said, chill, I know, I'm not, I think by now he's already on bail, you know, being that he's, he's he has a decent amount of money. His wife probably better than mine. I wouldn't have done it. You know, let him sit in jail for a while. You know, let him enjoy the, um, the, uh, pen, opinion, uh, <laughs> the, the penal the penal uh, <laughs> the jail system. You know, even though he's, he's a tough fighter, but you know what? Hey, you can't fight everybody, Chell. And sometimes, hey, numbers count. And you gotta be careful, Chell. You might be, you know, call yourself Shell. You might be Shelly. <laughs> but again, fellas, understand when you are involved, you have a wife. It's no, it's, it's, it's enough. That should be enough for you. You know, and don't use that excuse. Oh, I'm a sex addict. No, you're not a sex addict. You just like to have sex with somebody else. that's not your wife. Just admit that that's the truth. But like I said, you know, have respect for yourself and your relationship. Don't be chasing after women who are free in the mindset. They're not committed to you. They don't have a ring on their fingers. You're, you're not in a real relationship. Don't get mad if they want to spend time with other men. Somebody who's single, who's available, maybe they even eventually might, you know, say, you know what, the relationship is over. I want to be with this person who wants to be with me. So, you know, I hope you enjoy your um your time in jail, uh, Chell. More likely, when they do go to court um, with this uh, case, they're going to probably give him, some, you know, like a, you know, like a probation, you know, because, but he does have a record. You know, if you, if you all got to do is check, it's, some of this stuff is public um, information, you know, but... You know, it's just how it is with society. If this was somebody else, like like somebody like John Jones or any kind of uh, athlete or celebrity of color, you know, the system would go on harder than it is than anybody else of non-color. Here's my other way, George Page. Um, like, don't like, subscribe, subscribe. I'm out.